Welcome to Mining the Museum, Uniqueness of Cultures. Our project is about cultural identity and values to society through the artifacts that we have chosen. We are grouped to me, Emiliano de la Rosa, Andrea Avenado, Patrick Mooney, Isaiah Jenkins, and Anika Khan. The meaning of capturing cultural uniqueness. We chose our artifacts by dividing our work for allowing for more team efficiency. The 15 artifacts chosen were from three different cultures through the Google Arts and Culture website. Our intended audience is people who are unaware of the importance of cultural identity. We are attempting to convey our message by distinguishing the identity of cultures by removing any confusion or misunderstanding of cultures. Beginning with Japanese culture, we see on our top left Takao wheat gluten cellars. You see a man dressed in traditional Japanese clothing carrying wheat on top of his head, most likely about to participate in trade for goods. On the bottom left, we see another artifact, Kyoto, Japan entrance to the famous temple of Ono Tenjin. Dating from 1397, we see a great depiction of cultural Japanese history. We see a famous temple with people standing in front wearing traditional conservative clothing going to worship. We also see a lion statue that depicts and symbolizes power, strength, and protection in Japanese culture. On the top right, we see a third artifact, Japanese maidens worship at shrines, Tokyo. Dating in 1409, we see Japanese women worshiping at their shrine dressed in conservative clothing while using umbrellas to shade from the sun. Our fourth Japanese artifact is titled Woman Invoking Cure of the Sick at Tenjin Temple, Osaka, Japan. Dating in 1414, we see a traditional Japanese custom of creating medicines. We see here a woman participating in making a medicine using traditional methods of Japanese culture. On the right, we see another artifact, a drawing titled The Japanese Way of Going to Bed, dating in 1379 from Japan. We see the traditional way of Japanese sleeping. It is often so easy to forget that differences in culture don't have to involve art. It could be something as personal as going to sleep, like so. On to our second culture, we see India. To the top left, we see a kimono jacket dating from 1700 AD to 1750. This shows a traditional kimono jacket made of different colors and materials with extravagant, extravagant and prestigious materials used for higher class citizens or for special events. On the bottom left, we see an artifact depicting a marriage titled Marriage Ceremony of Rama and Sai, dating as early as the 18th century in India. We see a common practice of prearranged marriages that are arranged by the parents of the groom and bride. This is a traditional practice that has been in use in India for centuries, though some of it has been dying off over the years. On the top right, we see another artifact titled Gaja Vial. This artifact shows an elephant's head with a tiger's body and wings. These small decorative toys were made in Kandapali, a famous center for producing toys and other wooden artifacts made of punky wood and vibrant colors in India. Our fourth artifact of India culture, we see on the left, Bharata returning to Ayodhya with Rama's Padukas. In this painting, this is showing a story of two brothers that are being brought back on a decorated royal elephant in a grand procession of chariots and horses with palanquins. It is known in India to have extravagant welcomes and gatherings for family members. To the right, we see a drawing of two men discussing, titled Sage Narada at the Hermitage of Sage Valmiki, requesting him to write the story of Rama, dating early 19th century. From a scene of the Ramayana, the painting depicts an episode of the visit from the divine Sage Narada. It shows a common practice for people to go to others they admire to look and ask for advice. Moving on to our last culture, Mexican culture, we see to the left a photograph titled Danza de los Viejitos. With an unknown date, this photograph depicts a Mexican folk dance in Michoacan. It is said to have begun as a dance in the Perupicha region. This dance is danced by the Perupicha people to represent fire, water, earth, and air. To the right, we see an artifact titled Self-Portrait with Monkey, dating from 1945. 
This is a drawing of Frida Kahlo, a Mexican icon and influential figure that is known in the Mexican culture because she was confidently unconventional. She was a painter best known for her self-portraits. Our third artifact on the very left is titled Agave. Dated in 2020, it is a modern art piece showing that agave is a very popular and universal plant. Most commonly, the agave plant is used for tequila in Mexico, with the heart of most tequila production being in Jalisco. Mexico is famous for growing the agave plant and turning it into tequila. In the middle, we see another artifact titled Mis Tres Amores. Depicting two women standing in a bush of flowers, we see marigolds. The marigolds are a famous flower in Mexico with double meaning. Though it is recognized as a symbol of the Day of the Dead, it is also a flower that is known to bring joy, which is why a pregnant woman is depicted standing in the middle of the field. On the very right, we see another photograph titled Ofenda Night, dating in 2012, depicting the Dia de los Muertos, a day where friends and family get together to remember the deceased. Our collection of artifacts are intended to be progressive by including Japan, India, and Mexico. These three cultures were chosen not only because they are the most easy to identify, but rather because we wanted to bring a different perspective to the cultures through identifying unique points through the artifacts and distinguishing the culture from past misunderstandings or misrepresentations. Our artifacts not only capture the pure culture of society from the three selected cultures, but we also capture the culture's identity by its uniqueness and through its origins.